print four lines on our canvas marking the center point for each side. We will measure and make four center lines on our stretching frame to correspond with the four lines on our canvas. This is important to do so that our canvas is centered and aligned with the frame. Grab your pencil and measuring tape and mark the center point of the frame on each of the four sides. Make sure that you are also marking the back of the frame so that your marks don't get covered up when we place our canvas on it. Now we will cut the corners of our canvas at a 45 degree angle to eliminate the extra canvas that will be folded into the corners of the frame. You will want to make sure that you are not cutting the canvas too close to what will wrap over the back corner. You can use scissors to cut the corners, or if you feel that you need a more precise way to cut, you can also use an X-Acto knife and a straight edge ruler. Flip your canvas over, making sure that the top of the canvas is oriented with the top of the frame. Then align the four printed center lines on the canvas with the four marked center lines you made on the back of the frame. This part can take some time. You often have to make small adjustments so that it lines up just right. Then, once it's aligned, place two anchor staples in the top and the bottom so you don't lose your alignment. Your canvas stretching pliers will help you stretch the canvas tight after you place the first staple. Once you have your anchor staples in, you will need to stretch and staple the sides of your canvas because we will wrap the corners over the top and bottom of the frame. The sides can be stretched and stapled along their entire length. Using your stretching pliers, move along the sides, pulling the canvas tight and placing staples about 2 to 3 inches apart. Start by pulling the canvas tight against the corner edge of your frame. Then pull the canvas against the bottom side of the frame. You will notice that you have created two triangular shapes. Using your thumb and forefinger, crease the edges of the canvas along the smallest triangular shape. Now grab the larger triangular shape of canvas and roll it out towards the corner edge of the frame so that the edge of the canvas will line up with the edge of the frame. Once you have the edge of the canvas and the frame aligned, use your thumb and forefinger to crease the edge of the fold to help it hold its place. You should now have a flap of canvas to fold over. Using your thumb and forefinger once more, rub the outside of the canvas along the bottom side to crease the fold, which we will be cutting out so that the canvas flap lays flat. Pull the canvas back and you will see that you've created a fold with a diagonally creased line. We are going to cut out the fold along this diagonal. Take your razor blade and cut along the diagonal line, being careful not to cut too close to the front corner. Then make another diagonal cut into the canvas to cut out the rest of the fold. Pull and fold the smaller triangular shape down against the back of the frame. This is a great time to place your first staple into the canvas. Now fold the canvas flap and wrap it over the frame. Using your canvas stretching pliers, stretch this flap of canvas over the corner of the frame to ensure a tight edge. Now place just a few staples into the corner of the frame and move on to stretch and staple the other bottom corner. Now that you have stretched, folded, and stapled your canvas, it is now time to put on the finishing touches. To finish our stretch canvas, use your fingers to find any raised staples. Then hammer down along the staples to ensure that they are flush with the wood. After that, pick up your canvas and spray the back of the canvas with distilled water so that when it dries, it will help tighten it over the wooden frame. Your canvas is now ready to hang. Thank you so much for watching and please visit infinite-additions.com to have your photography or image printed on canvas for your projects.